think the specimens are beautiful. The colors are so incredible. Some of the blues are still just so vibrant and iridescent. Yellows and reds are pigmented colors in animals, so they would degrade over time because of UV light exposure. But because of what we have here, they're pretty much as brilliant as they were when they were collected. And that's pretty amazing considering that they're 100 years old. Well, my name is Kylie Corwin. I am a senior fine arts major at Cornell University. Since August, I've been photographing the Chapman Columbian Expedition from 1910 to 1915. We're trying to digitize the collection and have photographs of the specimens available to the public. Part of my job is to make sure that there is a whole view of the specimen, so we take a ventral view, a lateral, and a dorsal. One of my favorite parts about photographing is the challenge in making sure that the color balance is right in an accurate description of the colors that the birds have. When I first started, it made me really nervous. <laughs> my biggest fear was to drop one. Now I'm a little bit more comfortable. Here's some really beautiful examples of how well the yellow has been preserved. Here's like a beautiful example of the blue. Each bird is tagged with the information of where it was collected, as well as the sex of the bird and the elevation. See, this was April 19th, 1911. After I photograph, I geotag the birds on Google Earth. It gives a location of where these birds were found. This is helpful for contemporary research. We can do a comparative study of how the distribution of the species has moved in that area and track a change over time. That is so humbling to me as a fine arts major to then be connected in this way and to be able to contribute with the skills that I have.